Welcome back to another episode and weekly vlog with me, Chris Guilfoyle. In this week's episode, we have a special birthday in the Guilfoyle household. I'm in central London for the launch of a new marketing agency with our friend Jack Gaysford, and I reveal the truth how I'm struggling to get back into the weekly vlog. Let's roll the footage. You're live? Yeah. We're live and direct. Welcome back to another episode of, what are we calling this now? I don't know yet, to be confirmed. We'll put that down. Put some ideas down in the comments and I don't want no sarky comments from any of my friends that watch and don't like my videos on a weekly basis. So we are down at HQ. Adam has joined me, he's behind the camera. We have been putting, what do you reckon of my new setup? Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Thank you to AAF for helping me out with that. Much appreciated. We have been putting some standalone content down this morning. As you guys know, as we're diversifying the channel, it doesn't necessarily have to be Cleaning Pacific related. So we're gonna put down some thought stuff, you know, bits and pieces I wanna get off my chest that might provide value to people that are starting a business or in their business journey from an average guy like myself. And as you guys know, I am pretty average. So we put down a couple of videos. I'm gonna be doing more later this week. We've just got to give a little bit more thought to script in them and I've got to try not to rant on them so much because I am doing that out of passion and it's particular topics that drive me mad. So I've been down there with Adam for a couple of hours now. I have got head to a client meeting for grey water drainage. So I'm gonna be jumping in the car now and heading all the way to London for our meeting to discuss various projects we've got coming up, um, which is still going really well. That's the big customer that you guys see me acquire the back end of last year. That's still going all guns blazing, I'm pleased to report. And then I've got some paperwork to catch up on. We've got lots of tenders going on. And hopefully, I did hear last week, for those of you that are keen viewers, the school that we priced, the back end of last year, that was delayed slightly, but they're hoping to make a decision within the next week or so. So I'm hoping I'm gonna chase that up and we can hear about that this week. So that's gonna wrap up filming with our new setup. Hope you guys like it, but I'm gonna get in the car and head up to the city. Let's go. So we finished with Adam. Content now. Oh, car's still on. That's no good. We finished our content. I have just quickly come before a meeting because I have got to pick up some parts that we are using for a job. We've got um, some pipe work we need to replace down at one of our sites in Maidstone that you guys see me at the other week. So I've just got to the tray counter. Let's go inside, pick it up. <laughs> Good afternoon, gang. Left the office, went down to customer's site for a meeting about a particular stretch of road that we are doing in central London. At the moment, I had to meet with their planning department because we're trying to map out the asset there, but it's quite a large road and there's circa 100 drains on this piece of road that we needed to do. So I had to go there, meet with their planning team. They keep having repeat blockages and um, we're just sort of trying to ascertain what asset is the local council's and what is a Thames water asset. It takes a little bit of a, you know, a bit of mapping, etc. We have to um, get involved with Thames as well to see what is going on. Children, to see what's going on, what's a Thames asset, what is the local authority's asset, um, and work out who's responsible for what because they keep getting flooding in this particular area. Now we've surveyed this area extensively and the main sewers are not cleansed, but the same. The argument is, is that a local water authority or is it ours to clean? So I'm um, trying to get a little bit more steel on that. I've had to go through like the 100 page report that we've done for this particular site. And it was good to catch up with our client contact there. There's lots going on at the moment. Also got some nice big new drainage customers coming in. We've got a big clean going on this week where we've got both of our tankers, the 18 ton and the seven and a half ton out on site. So it's all going on. I've been a bit run down the last couple of days. I don't know if you can hear that at the weekend. I was a little bit under the weather, if I'm honest, and I'm still feeling a little bit rough today. But as I said in my video earlier, when I was filming with Adam, it's those days that you still got to get up and get done what you need to get done. It's quite easy just to go, oh, well, I'll take the day off, um, cancel those meetings, and then things don't get done, and then before you know it, you're behind, and you've got a busy 
week this week. I'm going to be out with the drainage lads on Wednesday. I'll film that. I've got a couple of tank cleans, as I say. Both tankers will be on site, so it's nice to get used out of both of them. Tomorrow is my daughter's birthday, my eldest daughter. So happy birthday to my oldest daughter, Layla. Definitely a pivotal moment in my life. Not that I'm urging anyone to go out and have any children if they're... Uh, because it will change their life, but um, she was definitely one that moved mine in the right direction, and she's turning 13. I know I don't look old enough, everyone tells me that. So um, I've got to do some invoicing today, I'm a little bit behind with that to be honest, and we know, as I mentioned earlier as well, cash is king, so I need to get that done. So I'm going to go up, I'm going to have a shower, get sorted, take some paracetamol, I haven't taken any since this morning. What's the time now? It's five o'clock. So we're going to get washed up and then we will get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow, I say, I'm, I've got a bit of a relaxed day to tomorrow. Um, I say, I do have them. It's nice to introduce that, show you that actually it's not all business, business, business. But even when you do go out, you're still taking calls and things like that, which can, to be honest with you, it can be equally as disruptive. But um, it's nice to have that flexibility that I can take some calls on the road. We're going to be doing lots more one-off standalone videos. So if there's any questions or videos that you guys would like me to do or like me to understand my view on, I'm not claiming to be an expert, I'm not a guru, I'm not selling anything, I'm just a normal Joe Average guy who's trying to do all right for himself. So if there's any questions anyone wants to ask, I do get questions quite a lot in DMs and on emails, specifically on the cleaning side of things because that's where the vast amount of experience is well, 20 years experience really. So I do get them. So if there's any videos, standalone pieces that you guys want to see, let us know and I will try and get around to doing them. We're going to try and do one of them a week. We've got a new office set up, try and get that sorted. Some nice background and do some talking head stuff and just give my opinion for what very little it's worth, but some people might be interested in it. So yeah, an interesting Monday. So I'm going to go shower up. I'm certainly not going to show you that part of things because otherwise this would be only fans and not YouTube. So shower up. I'll see you guys in the morning. We'll have a catch up then. Happy birthday. What is happening on YouTube? It is Wednesday. Nice relaxed day yesterday for my daughter's birthday. Again, she had a really nice day, which was good. Early start this morning was up 4 a.m. A three and a half hour drive, 150 miles to a Ministry of Defense site. Couldn't film on that, not allowed to film in those locations. Obviously, it was a drainage job and it needed all four of us. I'll be honest with you, the job was well underestimated. I'd only seen it from um, some plans and some photos and it needs a lot more work than we managed to do today. So we've got a plan to come up with that um, and I've got to submit that to the customer with some revised costs. Unfortunately, it's just one of those things. It was such a journey. Um, it's not feasible to go three hours to price something three hours back. So we had to do it off photos and information provided. And unfortunately, it wasn't the information we needed to do the job. So um, yeah, just one of those one of those things on this occasion. Um, it's late evening now. I am up in Central. Um, I got the team working tonight on um, Tower Bridge, um, doing some PPM stuff that we do there uh, as regular quarterly closure. So drainage boys are out on that. Um, I've got a team out on that, I had a team with me today. I am actually in Central, friend of our channel, boys over at V21, Jack and Ross Longhurst, as you guys know, big inspiration to us, got us started on our content journey. They have launched a new agency and they have got the, um, the launch of that and the networking event tonight up in the city. Um, I was kindly invited along, so I'm also gonna come and show some love for both the lads. Congratulations to both of you if you see this. So I've just got up to town, just park the car long day today what i'm going to do i'm going to hang around here for a little bit till nine o'clock i say i've been up since four hang around here till nine o'clock then i'm going to head over to tower bridge to make sure the lads start okay that starts at 9 30 and then i'll wrap it up and then um yeah we'll see what tomorrow brings a bit tired but sometimes you've got to do these long days right so let's go and see what's going on with jack and ross
Now, 9.30, nice evening. Jack, Ross, thank you gents. Enjoyed myself, met some interesting people, all in the marketing field, majority, which was good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go in and check on the boys, because um, I say they're working around the corner on Tower Hill. I'm gonna see how they're getting on. Um, what have I got on tomorrow? I've got a job in the morning that I need to go look at, and then I'm gonna try and catch up with Adam and do a little bit of content. So that wraps up Wednesday. As I say, I'm gonna try and get a couple of highlight pieces every day. So these episodes might be a little bit shorter, less rambly, I think that's the general plan anyway. So that's gonna wrap up today. I guess I'll see you in the morning. Yes team, we are down at JCD HQ. I have just got back. I have found myself out on the drainage van. I've, I've said to you guys on the channel a few times, when you're out and about doing the drainage, especially when it's really busy, sometimes it's hard to film while you're doing that. Depends what the job is. So I didn't manage to film any today, to be honest. What's happening with the drainage is, and this happens with most business owners, I find myself in a position where I get hire someone in and we've got, we've got three guys, four including myself now, out and about on the vans all day. I come out of the of the actual being on the tools and helping out, um, I'll take someone on and then I find myself taking a step back. Doing that sales and business development piece and then more work comes in and then I delay employing someone until I feel there's a substantial amount of work there that I can get someone in. But what that does, it means I have to go back out on the tools, which is not an ideal place to be in. Utopia would be we would take someone on, on the proviso we know we're gonna get more work in and I think I need to get better at doing that. And that's certainly something that most business owners probably need to get better at, pulling the trigger early on rather than finding themselves getting back into the operational side of things. Because what that does, it gives you peaks and troughs in your sales process. And that's also definitely not a good place to be in. So something I need to get better at. I'm gonna put an ad out for another drainage engineer and see if we can get someone in. So um, yeah, sorry to get much today. I say, I am getting back in the swing of things with the vlog stuff. I've had a bit of time off and I say on the channel many times, I don't think people realize actually what goes in day to day, especially trying to make it interesting and a little bit varied, but we'll get back onto things soon. So that's gonna be a short update today. I will see you tomorrow for Final Thought Friday. It's Friday and we are down at JCD HQ, as you can see. As you guys know, I always try and keep Friday relatively free so that if anyone wants to see me, or need to have a catch up of anything or anything out of left field comes up, I can fit it in. But if it doesn't, at least then we've got a nice quiet day. So Final Thought Friday this week, I wanna to touch on the vlogging side of things. And obviously I know you guys are bearing with me at the moment. We've had some time off and it's taken me a little bit of a while to get back into the, the habit of videoing and vlogging every day. You're out and about busy all every day, and to be honest with you, sometimes, especially at the moment when it's not something you've been doing regularly, it's just not at the front of your mind. There's lots of stuff going on across both businesses at the moment, um, and I wanna obviously capture that journey for you guys, but I say, sometimes when you're out and about and it's really busy, especially when I'm on the tools, you'll notice a little bit more when it's around, you know, when I'm out and about with the lads or out and about on the drainage vans, that it's a little bit more difficult to capture footage. And I don't think people realize, unless you've actually done it, and I think this is my work, why maybe people quit quite often on the video stuff. One, it's very time consuming. Two, you obviously want to get good footage, so that takes time as well. And I don't think people really appreciate what goes in for this amount of um, you know, videoing, vlogging, and trying to capture the day-to-day -day goings on of two businesses. It is tough. So I will get back in the swing of things. So it's taken me a little bit of a while um, where I've been out of it for five, six weeks. But we will get back into the swing of things, so make sure you guys stick around for that, and I appreciate you guys sticking with it. Subscribers have gone up since we um, since we said we were changing the channel slightly, which is interesting. Um, it's had a nice sharp increase, so you know a little bit of variability has um, had the effect we wanted to, but now it's down to us to make sure we're getting the content and getting the footage out. We've got some decent one-off videos coming um, for you guys soon. We've got our five lessons in 10 million pound revenue, that done well, um, so we're gonna get some more one-off stuff done for you guys in the next couple of weeks and we'll get that out. So um, I appreciate you guys being with me. We're nearly at a thousand subscribers now. It's been slow, but YouTube and social media is definitely a marathon, not a sprint. That's something I've learned over the last couple of years. So I appreciate all you guys sticking with us and uh, yeah we'll get back into the swing of things eventually. So that's going to wrap up 
another weekly episode. As always, hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys.